How's it going, YouTubers? Kyle, or Epic here, with another episode of Epic FAQ, and a good one at that. Once again, Ready, Set, Go Pictures has claimed the comment question of the day, or this episode, and says, Do you think more people free run, trick, or do parkour for the enjoyment of it, and for the exercise, and to feel free, or just to get attention? Which is a pretty, pretty good question. I feel there's a group of all of them. Everybody does it to, for the enjoyment of it. Some favor the exercise a bit. Others do it to feel free because physical exercise relieves stress, things like that. But there's a great deal now seeking the attention for their talents, which is, you know, it's okay. seems like a lot of us are becoming entrepreneurs and we all want to, you know, make a living doing what we love. But um, there are still some people who just work, you know, they don't care about uh, getting, being famous or being well-known or anything like that. They just work average minimum wage jobs and they still attend jams and gatherings and things like that. So, you know, there's, there's those guys, some people who don't care about making YouTube videos. They just train and play and they just, that's all they care about. They just want to stay fit, you know, have fun. Um, but there are other people who are begging for views, who are asking for subscribers and demanding that other people watch their videos just to get more views and things like that. And I feel like they're kind of like doesn't shed a good light on what we do. I feel like we shouldn't be a community of beggars. Even though a lot of people now are becoming a stronger community, people are sharing each other's videos, which is great. And, and But you know, the hard part about it is it makes it harder for the smaller guys, the guys who are new, who are actually pretty good, it makes it harder for them to get more recognized, which is usually where APK comes in, WFPF, and all the other parkour free running groups and organizations that share videos and shed light on other athletes that people have never heard about and people watch their videos like, damn, that guy's good. But I mean, it seems like the guys who are there from whenever it very like, first began, when the videos first started coming out, all those guys like 3 Run, Ryan Doyle, Ilabaka, Livewire, and everybody who was there from the beginning, I feel like those are the lucky guys because they have all that stuff in the higher ups that give them all those opportunities. They have the biggest resumes, they've done the most and they still do a lot of stuff and they get the most jobs but it's harder for the other guys, the smaller guys because they don't have anything on their resumes. They don't have like you know a, a competition belt under their under their name you know they don't have like a trophy from the Red Bull Art of Motion that they can say hey I competed in there and did that so it's it's much it's much harder these days and with what we do now becoming more mainstream it's it's become a competitive market. So now people are seeking sponsorships. People are starting to become partners on YouTube and putting up tutorials and things like that. And I don't blame anybody for wanting to make a living out of their passion. That's great. Nobody can you know, be upset with you for that. It's just as long as you go about it, I guess, in a pure positive way. But the reality is, if you want to make a living out of your passion, you're going to have to compete with other people that are doing the exact same thing, which is... I don't know, especially with the economy the way it is and with what we do becoming more mainstream, like I said, it's going to be harder. I'm not the only one who does tutorials anymore. I'm not the only one who used to, you know, who puts up, you know, videos anymore of gym trainings or outside stuff, whatever. There's a million other channels now that do the same thing that I do and because of that, you know, more people are going to them now. People are leaving me and going out and getting more knowledge from other parts of the world, which is great. That's awesome. Um, but I don't know, I don't really think I can say who does what more? You know, I don't think that it's just, I don't know, there's athletes that fall under all the categories. But the main goal, I think, which is the most important part, is to not forget how much fun it is to do what we do. To not allow yourself to be blinded by these opportunities of making money or, you know, getting famous and something like that. Because I don't think that should be what it's about. It should be about just purely making a living off of your passion. But you don't have to seek out money to live a fulfilling life. It's all about enjoying what you have already, which I'm sure you guys know about that. Those of you guys who have Facebook probably follow the groups and stuff, they share things, you guys read quotes, you guys all know this, but practice it. And the, such opportunities, the bigger opportunities, only exist for a few people, just for a few. And, and that's why it's so hard to do what we do, because it's now become a competitive thing. Those are my thoughts anyways. If you guys have your thought and you think it needs to be heard, please... Throw your concerns and questions and comments and stuff in the comment section below and the debates begin. Uh, with nothing more to do, thanks a lot for watching you guys. Take great care, stay positive, and may the next best question win.